Hello, welcome. Thank you all so much for joining me here. My name is Charity and this message is for Aquarius. So this is going to be a you and them love reading of your cards on one side and your person's cards on the other. This is someone you are connected to energetically, romantically, someone that you are thinking about and someone who is thinking about you. I'm recording this message on September 18th, and I ask these readings be timeless. Boy, they're already coming out for you. I ask these readings be timeless and have what you need when you need to hear it. So let's get started. Energy's feeling kind of jumpy for your person. You definitely got somebody wanting, wanting to see you. I'm connecting in with somebody who... Who has someone that maybe you haven't seen in a little while like face to face maybe you've never met them face to face or maybe you haven't seen them face to face or you're talking about it um but there's there's some kind of distance and sometimes a di distance can just be like an emotional distance and you just aren't seeing eye to eye but i feel like there this is someone that is thinking about you and wanting to be really just a lot closer be it emotional or physically they want to be a lot closer so their energy is just like it's jumpy like they're like i want to see you <laughs> pretty interesting aquarius what is going on okay what is the heart of the matter what is the heart of whoa <laughs> oh my gosh that one just flew out what is going on in your daily life? Could be affecting your connection. What's going on in your daily life? That's funny. That took the <laughs> card took a, a minute to come out, and it's the Knight of Pentacles. Interesting. Okay. What's happening in your heart space, Aquarius? What intentions might you have towards this? connection and what is a potential outcome a lot of major arcana here in the near future for whenever you are meant to hear this message yeah um someone is definitely definitely anxious to see you be near you be around you we got some a lot of wands, a lot of fire, and has something to do with you maybe being a little bit quiet or not necessarily coming right out and telling this person how you feel. There's something about that that's like very, like it's drawing them to you. But we have a page of cups on the bottom of the deck. So this is your underlying energy. So this is someone that you're interested in, someone that you like, someone you wanna take a step for, um, forward towards. It feels a little tentative. So we already got the heart of the matter jumping out for your person. Let's see what's going on in their daily life. What is happening in their daily life? What is going on in their heart space? How are they feeling? How's this person feeling about the connection? Oh, my goodness. Okay. Boy, Aquarius, your person is uh, definitely, um, if you are being quiet, they are feeling it. Oh my goodness. Okay, what are their intentions? What are they going to do about this? What are they going to do about this? And what is a potential outcome in the near future? Whoa! Whenever you are meant to hear this message. Okay, Knight of Wands on the bottom of the deck. All this person wants to do is be near you and see you, but I don't know if the two of you are even really communicating right now. Um, it's very interesting because you're, you're coming in with the Strength card here for the heart of the matter. Leo energy could be significant at summertime. But it's like you're taking all your strength and kind of looking in the other direction. Um, there's something about this connection where there's been some sort of, and I felt it from the very beginning, 
there's been some sort of difficulty as far as getting it together and making it happen. Some of you, I just saw the number seven. Some of you, it's been seven months, seven years, seven weeks, something. Um, but but it, it's almost as if, if for some reason you aren't like coming right out and talking to this person, I feel like it's taking a lot of your strength to do that because there are a lot of genuine feelings here. And your person has the world. You both got major arcana, first of all, with what you're thinking about this connection. And it's really positive. But do you see how this person is just kind of walking away, walking in that direction, uh, mustering their strength and going? And this person is like over here with the world, like looking, like looking, where are they going? Where's Aquarius going? What are they doing? Like, and this person may have thrown themselves into work, may have gotten really into some things they needed to do. They may have even been putting off like taking the connection more seriously or, or a trip or meeting you or seeing you because it's like they're trying to take on the world. They're trying to do all this stuff and here they are. They're like, oh, I'm finally getting it. Finally getting this attention and, and you know, and, and the success that I want. And wait, wait, where's Aquarius going? Like, look at that. Do you see that? The, the way they're looking at you? And it's not that you don't care about this person. We got this page of cups. Oh my gosh, I just lifted it up to show the page of cups and right under the page of cups. Are you kidding me? We have an emperor and an empress and a tower. And I shuffled the heck out of these cards. This is what was on the bottom of the deck. This could be twins and separation, twin flames, if you resonate with the divine connection journey. Obviously that's not gonna be um, everyone's path. That's a more rare path, but um, these are general readings. But there are two people that definitely know that they met for they met for a reason. And you feel each other, you sense each other, you pick up on each other's energy. But for some reason, even though you genuinely feel this, feel this in your heart, feel this interest, you're like doing your best to just kind of not come right out with the Aquarius. Um, I mean, I can kind of, I can definitely kind of um, see where that, that can happen at times. I know that like I have someone in my life that I have a lot of feelings for, but I'm not going to like overwhelm them with everything that I'm feeling. Sometimes you're going to just sort of listen for the cues and take your time and see what they're feeling before you just say everything. And so I don't feel like there's any, I don't really feel like there's any necessarily like any animosity. All your cards are tremendously positive, but there has been some sort of challenge, some sort of breakdown. We're witnessing that tower if there hadn't been. And your person's got a five of swords in their daily life. So they're dealing with some drama. They're dealing with some frustration. And it could just be that they're dealing with so much stress and frustration. Maybe they aren't giving this connection the attention that it really deserves. And you're having to carry yourself a little bit. You know, obviously it's going to be different for everyone. But it's interesting that the way this card is kind of facing, it's like you're the, you're in this Knight of Pentacles for your daily life, and you're kind of I feel like taking the high ground, kind of maybe going another direction, maybe looking away from all this drama. Like I don't want to go in circles, I don't want to fight, I don't want to be petty or anything. Kind of looking that way, ready to go, but. Like, you know, you got your horse pointed in that direction, but look at the way this knight is kind of peeking back at all of this that's going on over there. Like, still thinking about it. There's been some sort of difficulty, some sort of challenge, and you're still thinking about it. And it's almost like you're ready like to kind of turn that horse in that direction and, and go talk um, and see what can be done. But then in your heart space, you've got the high priestess, more major arcana, um, tremendous intuition, but it is a very quiet energy. This is the kind of energy that really, you really trust your guidance on when to speak up, what to say, what to do. So some of the energies on this board, we have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Leo, I get Pisces, Cancer, and Virgo from this. That's, that's me as a reader. Um, 
but it's almost like you're holding in like some feelings, holding in some things that you that you feel, that you wanna say, but it's almost like it might not be the time, like, or you're waiting for more of a sign or this person to come in and make a little more, make a little more effort or maybe be the one to speak up or be the one to reach out first. And so you're still kind of facing the other way and I feel like you're in a good place because all of your cards are like super positive. So you could just be focusing on um, things that you love, things that are important to you with the Knight of Pentacles showing up in your daily life, something that you're working on, a project is gonna be really productive, really prosperous. But it's like you're, you've gone within, you're going this way and here's your person, look at their heart space. It's the Three of Swords. They don't like that you're that you're going that way. They don't like that you're being quiet. It's kind of it's kind of wrecking them. And obviously, this reading is not going to be for every single Aquarius. Check your other placements as, if this isn't your story, because there's so many different energies that came through this month. But for whoever I'm connecting in with, I feel like you might be taking some time to do what's best for you because somebody may have been a lot of drama, not really doing their part, or maybe just more into their other things, but they're noticing it. You got quiet and they're noticing it and they're feeling it and they're hurt. Like they're hurt about it. Um, for your intentions, interestingly, we have the Hierophant. This is not a typical Hierophant. Usually they're standing forward and there's a couple of people in front of them. This one is facing towards your person and towards their energy. And it's very interesting because it's like, yes, oh, and Taurus could be significant here. Um, but yes, I do want to talk. I do want to see you, but we're going to have to do this right. Like that's the energy I'm getting. We're going to have to do this right. We're going to have to talk right. We're going to have to be kind to one another. We're going to have to be honest. Like that's the way that I'm going to come forward because this is your intentions facing right towards your person here. But it's like, if I'm going to come forward, like we're going to do this right. Um, you might not even be telling them, you might be feeling it and their intentions, they've got the three of pentacles. They do genuinely want to see you, as I was saying, they want to see you, might want to talk, might want to sort things out. It's almost like they got all caught up in their own stuff and then all of a sudden they realize that you've gone in a different direction. It's like killing them and they're like, wait, wait, can we talk? Can we see each other? And with your, you having the hair font and your, um, and your intentions kind of facing towards this, it's like, yeah, yeah, if we can, if we can do this right, if we can do this in a positive way. Um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn for your person with the three of pentacles. But I do feel like I have to say with the, we've got a three of pentacles, a world, and a ten of wands. I do feel like this person kind of wants, they kind of want to impress you. They kind of, they do a lot. It's almost like they do a lot and they do a lot of work and they're distracted, but it's like they want your attention. They want to impress you. They want you to see them and notice, you know, what they're doing. Like they want to be noticed by you, but it's almost like they get so wrapped up in their stuff. They just, they don't put in the time. Um, so your potential outcome here, this is very interesting. I'll definitely have to pull a clarifier. And just remember, these are just current energies. It changes all the time. But they've got a 10 of wands, an eight of wands, and a high priestess, high priestess. So we've got two. So you're in your heart space being a little bit quiet. This person is wrapping up this cycle of trying to do it all, trying to just so swamped or, or worn out by different things, different challenges, um, that they've lost sight of, you know, where you are, the connection, all of that. It's like they're wrapping up this cycle and they want to go right for it, towards you. Eight of wands. They want to talk. They're interested. But there's some sort of hurry up and wait energy because we got an eight of wands sitting right next to a high priestess. So it's almost like they want to talk to you. They want to reach out. But you're being quiet. And so they're like, maybe I'll be quiet. Maybe that's maybe that's what Aquarius wants. It's like they're overthinking it. I don't feel like they're trusting their intuition. Um, Aries Leo Sagittarius for those, uh, for all those ones. But something's happening. So I'm definitely going to have to pull a clarifier on their high priestess over there. Because something's happening. 
that you've got a six of wands, a knight of wands, and a queen of wands. So this could have a couple people interested in you, not for everybody, obviously, but I just had to say that the way I noticed this, like queen of wands standing here with like two, <laughs> two people coming in, somebody a little bit guarded, somebody a little more open could definitely easily be this one person we're talking about because I do just try to connect onto one connection, but I have to say what I see. Um, but anyway, you're in this queen of wands energy. You are doing your thing. I feel like you're embracing some things, learning um, more about yourself, having, having some fun with life. And you are really, like you are really showing up and this person is finding you so attractive. They're so magnetized and it's like, it's woken them up. Like, oh my gosh, I was trying to do all this stuff, hoping to be enough, hoping to have enough, hoping to impress Aquarius. And I wasn't even paying attention. Like I wasn't even there for them when they really needed me. They were so busy, like trying to do it all, you know? And then it's like, they want to come forward. We have the six of wands is which somebody returning after a battle, after a challenge, after a difficulty it could be their internal battle, or it could be something that happened between the two of you. It's going to be different for everyone. Um, but with the Knight of Wands, it does come in, it does come in quickly and there's a lot of passion, a lot of interest because I feel like you may have taken some time out, um, of all of this to work on yourself and it is showing Aquarius, like it is showing and this person is so drawn to you. So let's get a couple clarifiers here. Um, I want to look at this High Priestess energy. It's almost like with this Five of Swords in your person's daily life, there's been some sort of challenge and maybe you're both kind of being quiet and it's hitting them a lot harder than you know. Um, but they're getting over that somehow. And maybe with the Eight of Wands next to the High Priestess, they, they're using their intuition on when to talk, when to speak up, like using their inner guidance because the High Priestess is like inner guidance. So why do we have this? Oh, wow. High Priestess Energy. Why do we have this Three of Swords in their heart space? Oh my goodness. And why do we have the High Priestess on the side of your person? Why do we have the High Priestess there? Okay. Wait, for the High Priestess on their side, we have the Eight of Cups and the Two of Cups. Somebody, maybe you, maybe this person may have walked away. And I feel like that's, I feel like that's you. I feel like, and, and I mean, these can go either way. You all know that. But I really try to, try to focus the energy towards the, you know, towards the sign. Um, so I do feel like somebody pulled away because somebody wasn't reciprocating. Somebody wasn't all in. Somebody wasn't doing their their full part and wasn't showing up. And it's like, sometimes when we aren't being nurtured by someone or we aren't having someone come in even or really show up, we have to go take care of ourselves. No matter how much you love someone, you can't, you can't settle like for somebody who is just not gonna do their part in a connection. Things need to be balanced. The Two of Cups is all about balanced connection, balanced friendship, balanced love. And two people feeling the same about one another, but somebody would like lost their balance in all of this and somebody walked away. And I think that's why this person is being a little quiet, trying to decide when and how to speak up. Definitely coming in. You got these knights like <laughs> charging right towards you with passion, communication, interest. Um, but I feel like they're kind of feeling it out. And I asked for a clarifier for the Three of Swords on their side. And we have the Three of Swords again with the Queen of Cups. Like this person is really, really kind of a mess over all of this. And maybe there's other things that's happened in their life that are kind of getting stirred up by their feelings because they've got the Queen of Cups in their heart space. Queen of Cups is one of the most powerful love cards in the tarot. The Queen of Cups is intuitive, feeling, emotional, lets their emotions flow, shares. When it comes up with the three, two of swords, th sorry, the three of swords twice, I don't know, even know if I've ever seen this, this person could really actually just be crying. Like they could be crying over you and missing you and feeling very hurt um, by this whole situation. But it's very interesting in your heart space, we have the high priestess and the knight of cups. 
So we have you kind of, you know, doing your own thing in your own world. And in comes this Knight of Cups. It's almost as if like you recognized you needed to kind of take care of yourself. And it kind of sparked this person's awareness of how much like you mean to them and their awareness of how just attracted they are to you, how much they like to be around you. And it woke them up. And now you got this Knight of Cups coming in. But we definitely have mixed signals because I still feel like you're kind of going one way and you're kind of going the other, but it doesn't take too much to shift that energy. Really is just about setting intentions um, towards like, what is meaningful to you? What kind of connection do you want? What kind of connection, you know, is really going to be satisfying to, to you? Is this person even somebody who's willing or able to offer this? Or is it time to release and look for, you know, your own way and see what comes towards you as you work on, you know, as you work on yourself, your inner self? I do feel like this person has some deep feelings for you. They do want to cross some sort of distance. They do want to see you. They do want to make an offer. But wow, Aquarius, it's really Aquarius, cross watcher, whoever's watching this, it's really up to you what you do. Um, because we relationships tend to be a reflection of stuff we have going on inside of us. And sometimes if you aren't being nurtured in the connection, it's because you're not nurturing yourself. And maybe you take a little time, spend a little time with you, meditate or, you know, go do what you like to do. What do you love to do? And it's almost like you forget about everything for a little bit. And then in comes <laughs> this, this romantic offer because this person is like suddenly like more aware than ever because you're aware like you're aware it's really has so much to do with the law of attraction and how we see ourselves has so much to do with how others are gonna are going to see us and sometimes we need to pay some serious attention to ourselves and not worry so much about what ha is happening with other people and um and then all of a sudden someone who has been very quiet comes in with this eight of wands energy it's just like talking for hours and can't get enough of each other. So that is the message I have for you, Aquarius. Obviously, these are general readings. Um, some will resonate, some won't, but um, just take what's yours, leave what's not. If something spoke to you and you would like a personal reading, I have tons of options on my website, charitygenese.com. I do have the emergency readings right now for some of you that enjoy ordering those. I took them down for a couple weeks while I was traveling, but I have the 24 hour readings back up um, until they get full and then I have to take it down again. I'm still learning the rhythm as my channel goes for keeping up, but I haven't had any trouble yet. Um, but anyway, those are back up and I just want to thank all of you, all of you that have checked out my, my website, my Kofi, my Patreon, all of that. And, um, connected with me on Instagram. I love it. I love connecting with you all. Everybody who comments and tells me when the readings resonate, like you're the reason I do this. Like you are the reason I bring these messages. Those of you that connect in with me and tell me it spoke to you and, and support in that way, like subscribing, like you all are the reason why I bring these messages. So thank you so much and I'll talk to you soon.